Salutations everyone, Beamforge back again with another build guide for Battle Brothers. Today I want to talk about the idea of having a different version of a tank. What if you need a tank, a strong tank very early on? What if you find a good defensive bro, like those, those thieves for example, but his fatigue sucks? You can actually build something it calls a nimble tank with them. And I just call them Centurion, you know, they kind of fit the theme, having a cool shield, a spear, but having nimble armor. And I just want to show today how you can actually build one of those bros and use them to high effectiveness. Those can carry you through the earlier stages of the game into the mid game. And a very good nimble tank can actually be a decent tank later on. I always would prefer having those... Paladins, those Battleforged tanks in the late game, but it's at least possible to take them if you don't have anything else. It's somewhat unique and counterintuitive, but I really like it. So let's get into the skill points. How you would build him. Colossus, I feel like, is absolutely a no-brainer here, and then I would gift it to just pump his melee defense as high as possible in the earlier stages. Then I would give him dodge, Try to aim for, I would say, at least 100 to... The more initiative you have, the better. Because that initiative gets converted into melee defense and range defense. And this just makes your Centurion even more durable and get less hit. And then, I mean, it's a little bit of a preference. I go with my tanks, so they are near to, my, to the rest of my company. And then I take Taunt. Some people prefer Rotate. I feel this is almost like on the, on the same page. I just like Taunt more in those sticky situations where you really have to make sure that a certain enemy doesn't take your banner, your range bro, whatever, right? Surely he has Shield Expert. He's a tank, he needs Underdog. Almost every melee fighter needs that. And then we get to Nimble. It's a Nimble tank. Oh, he gets Nimble. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> In Dom, every tank has to have that. And if I would build him like this, the next perk I would take is obviously this, Recover. Because in later stages of the game, you just spam In Dom. And at some point you can't spam it anymore, you you fatigued out. And then you recover one turn, that's a sketchy turn, but I mean you basically survived this. This should be absolutely fine. And then you go back to spamming In Dom. This is what a tank does, just being annoying. <laughs> And then what I would take, heal bro, those nasty critical headshots, they will wreck your bro very badly. Getting hit by a chosen axe or a big hammer in, in the head will make that bro die very, very fast. So this is, I am, in my opinion, absolute important. But you can build him a little bit different. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but there are some players and streamers, they use their tanks only like this. So you wouldn't take Taunt and you wouldn't take Dodge. And instead of that, you would take Bags and Belts and you would take Lone Wolf. And what this does, you would bring your Nimble tank or your tank, you can do this with Battleforge tanks too. You would move them up like three tiles so they get the bonus, they have 15% combat stat bonus which would counteract this, it would be absolutely fine to have this. And then they bind certain, like let's say, four or five enemies to them, and you deal with the enemies who get past them, basically. This is a strat some people use, but again, I prefer not to do that. I like having them in my near surroundings, and I think dodge is a pretty cool perk to take for a nimble guy, for a nimble tank. It kind of fits the theme a little bit, you know? So yeah, this is how I would build him. Gear-wise, before he gets nimble, you basically give him anything you have a spare of. Just a spear, because you will not level melee attack with him at all. Always a dagger or a knife to help daggering down those juicy targets. Just I just pick any armor. You can just take whatever you want and whatever helm you basically have. And wooden shields are very common in the beginning, so you just slap this on him. If you find in the beginning his shield gets destroyed a lot before he has a shield expert, you can just give him another shield in his backpack. This is how a nimble tank looks at later stages. 
you give him the the perfect nimble gear which is minus 15 fatigue combined and this is a very good helmet you can buy you don't really find them but you can buy and this is an armor you get early game that's fine i give him a heavy spear if you find having problems with fatigue you can actually just give him the dagger that'd be absolutely fine or you give him a goblin spear they only have minus four those very durable shields the sipper shield that is just a very well-rounded heavy shield it's plus 18 to all your defenses or you take a heater shield that gives a little bit more to melee defense which which is um, i would say more important but doesn't have as much durability right you can see it's basically half of it if you don't feel your shields break if you have this you can actually just put that out of your pockets you don't really have to take that always good to have another shield and with this strat bags and belts as i explained before in lone wolf you have four shields here so you just stand there and and switching your shields basically almost every round <laughs> again i i don't like this way of playing a tank but it works like it works actually pretty well okay um what stats do you take it's probably the same how you would level a forge tank to you always level fatigue you need it because you spam indom a lot and shield wall and stuff stuff like that you always take melee defense this is an, this is your most important set obviously and then you take health in your nimble tank health is even more important for you than a forge tank always important for every melee you want to aim for i would say at least with the tank at least 45 or 50 but don't worry about that too much you can give him an alb necklace this, this would just boost up his resolve. You can take him to the arena, boost his resolve. You have other ways to patch this up a little bit. But again, if you sometimes come into a situation, you get like a plus four or plus five resolve, but you only get a plus two fatigue then taking that resolve roll. If you under 45 is something I would absolutely advise. I feel like using one nimble tank maybe in my next run with the peasant militia. I feel they are very strong, especially if you hit certain thresholds. If you very early, let's say this, to explain this. Having this, for example, being level 5 or level 6, this is absolutely massive. Like, he will have so much melee defense, he never ever get hit. You can put him in, in front of, like, three enemies and he just stands there and, and, just, and just dodges everything. This is very, very powerful. So... Yeah. Again, if you need a little bit more defensive in the beginning and you want to have a strong tank that doesn't require much, then yeah, you can just take a Centurion and be absolutely fine with this. Alright, let me know what you think about the Nimble tank. I really like him. And that's for me. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, whatever you do right now. And I'll see you in the next video.